Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Dr. Hufran Babur, and uh, today is uh, the second talk for asthma management in children. So, today's talk is to review the treatments that are available to control asthma. The treatments that are available to control asthma. Most importantly, uh, which is the most important part of management is first to take a good history. History में जो most important चीजें हम मालूम करना चाहेंगे asthma में कि triggers क्या हैं कौन सी चीजें ऐसी हैं जो कि asthma के attack को start करती हैं और उसमें environmental antigens हैं कुछ लोगों को pollen से होती हैं कुछ लोगों को dust से heat से pollution से uh, cigarette smoking, grass, weeds. So those are the common uh, triggers. Exercise induced asthma uh, when you are about to start or when you are in the middle of your uh, sport, like game of uh, hockey, track, cricket, baseball. participate uh, When you are actively doing it, then you can have a trigger of asthma. So those were the kind of outdoor uh, things that could uh, trigger. Uh, then the food, different food allergies, long ko peanut uh, allergy hai, shrimp allergy hai, fish hai, different types of uh, egg white hai, uh, strawberries hai. So people could be allergic to uh, any of those foods. So food allergy ki uh, jo hai usme domain mein aa jayega. Then there are indoor allergens, insects, roaches, bugs, spores in the carpet, mites, dust can be triggered by asthma, emotional instability, sudden laughter, depression. Then viral infections are a very important trigger for asthma, viruses, common cold, respiratory syncytial virus hai, flu virus hai. So there is a slew of viruses, COVID-19. So all these viruses can trigger uh, asthma as well. So we have to, pets ke andar, ek or baat jo bhool tha, pets ke andar, cats, dogs. Cats are very uh, famous or uh, infamous uh, because they can cause uh, asthma as well. So once we have I found whether it is uh, remember जो लोग sensitive होते हैं because of their genes because of their inherent nature they can uh, have this activation of asthma और uh, asthma itself जब इसकी uh, management शुरू की गई तो remember इसके अंदर क्या है कि bronchial hyper responsiveness है आप बहुत ज़्यादा responsive होते हैं जिसकी वजह से आपके uh, inflammation hoti hai or inflammation se out uh, flow of air obstruction hoti hai in the lungs. So how are we going to manage? In the past, in 70s and 80s, asthma relieving drugs like beta 2, beta 2 agonist, jo ke receptor hoti hai, uh, smooth muscles ke upar, uh, unko uh, jo hai bronchial hyper responsive ki wajas ki wajas se wo contract karte hai. So, वो उसके ऊपर medications थी फिर उनका नहीं inflammation को control करें उसमें steroids को add किया गया और अब जो है यह steroids और albuterol यानी beta 2 agonist like drugs जो है वो commonly use होते हैं so air inflammation bronchial hyper responsiveness ultimately air flow obstruction uh, so control of the factors that trigger that is the most important thing which is history then pharmacologic treatment for pharmacology uh, we need to have use of medications and the third thing education in asthma care agar aap families ko uh, properly educate nahi karenge to asthma management will not be possible so uh, triggers ko humne bata diya iske alawa commonly uh, jo us mein use hota hai wo fe1 jo pulmonary function test force expiratory volume in 1 second if it is reduced uh, then it is, uh, you know, uh, less than 80% then the child may be going towards asthma. Uh, not commonly used, but it is one of those things which can be 
uh, used uh, in diagnosis. Uh, differential diagnosis of asthma humne apni previous uh, jo hai lecture mein discuss kiya tha 30 to 60 percent of children will wheeze in first five years of life jo bhi asthma ke bachche hain uh, up to uh, five million uh, asthmatics jo hain wo uh, five uh, or maybe more let me just confirm uh, in us up to uh, 9 million children less than 18 have been diagnosed with asthma based on the report of CDC. The CDC ki report of 9 million hai asthma or is say greater than 4 million ha a million have had an asthma attack in last 12 months. 12% 12 of children less than 18 have been diagnosed with asthma. Uh, so um, uh, these are very common statistics in uh, US. Uh, it could be up to uh, the, the number of people who may have asthma could be uh, 10 to uh, 20 percent. Uh, while in other countries like Pakistan is 5 to 10 percent. So going back to the management of asthma, so we have to control uh, the symptoms of asthma, the bronchial obstruction, then the airway inflammation, so that the airway obstruction uh, can be decreased. FEV1 can be used to diagnose asthma, however, not commonly used for that. Uh, once we have found out whether the asthma triggers are outside, in the home, in the food, uh, we need to avoid those triggers. And uh, viruses, if they are present, we have to make sure that we uh, keep ourselves, uh, you know, at home, less uh, encounter with people, especially in winter months, you have cold virus, flu virus, COVID virus, respiratory syncytial virus, hai, to uh, hand washing, mask wearing, social distancing, all will also help with the asthma. And with the people who have, are asthmatic and this age of COVID, they are at high risk uh, because of the uh, COVID infection and underlying asthma history. Uh, so good things, your good benchmarks for asthma, infrequent coughing hai ya wheezing hai, jab wo baseline pe unko koi difficulty in breathing nahi hai, uh, no waking up at night because of asthma, because of the coughing, uh, normal physical activity, they can do the normal physical activity and they're not absent from the school and they are not missing the work if they are parent uh, of the child. So uh, how are we uh, going to manage uh, in the uh, asthma? Uh, so most of the times uh, uh, after taking a good history, then we have to find out the severity of asthma. And remember the severity of asthma could be mild inter in mild intermittent asthma mild persistent asthma moderate persistent asthma or severe persistent asthma so based on the severity of asthma we have to tailor an asthma action plan uh, for the family uh, mild intermittent is that they are having symptoms less than two times per week and uh, during the day and at night less than two percent and there's FE1 is greater than 80 percent. Jab ke mild persistent ke andar unko daytime symptoms three to six times per month honge, three to four uh, times per month they'll wake up at night with asthma symptoms and their FE1 is still which is forced expiratory volume in one second will still be greater than 80 percent. So a special instrument hota se uske mein blow karte hain aur jitni volume uh, one second mein aati hai usse FE1 kaha jata hai. Uh, jabke moderate persistent can the daily symptoms honge unko day mein night mein greater than 5% aur unki fe1 will be reduced to 60 to 80% uh uh jo step 4 hai uh, isme uh, wo severe persistent ke liye aur severe persistent mein kya hoga usme daily unko symptoms honge aur uh, saath hi saath unko uh, jo nighttime symptoms hain wo bhi frequent honge aur fe1 would be less than 60% so that was kind of a nutshell uh, you know uh, the different categories based on current research more than 60% patients have mild inter intermittent asthma occasional mild persistent 22 mein hai 
माइल्ड मॉडरेट परसिस्टेंट 15 में है और सिवियर परसिस्टेंट एजमा तीन फीसद लोगों में मौजूद है मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स जो फेटल आउटकम है यानी डेथ वो ज्यादातर लोग वो हैं जिन्हें सिवियर परसिस्टेंट एजमा है मॉडरेट में वन थर्ड पीपल हु डाई आई हैव मॉडरेट परसिस्टेंट माइल्ड सवेयर प्रसिस्टेंट वन थर्ड वुड बी मॉडरेट प्रसिस्टेंट और रेस्ट ऑफ दैम आर वन थर्ड सो दे यू कैन सी दैट इन ईच ग्रुप देर इज अ मॉर्टैलिटी ऑफ वन थर्ड सो एनी ग्रुप पीपल कैन डाई बिकॉज ऑफ एजमा इफ दैट दैट सिवेयर अटैक इज सवेयर इन अप एंड द मैनेजमेंट इज सब ऑप्टिमल सो अनकंट्रोल टू कंट्रोल एजमा जो है वो uh is the most important thing that we have to change the uncontrolled asthma into controlled asthma so that uh there is uh less chance of uh, uh dying of asthma nih publication 2002 ke mutabik uh, strong evidence hua ke inhaled corticosteroids improve asthma control for children with mild to moderate asthma uh iske alawa लो डोज इनहेल्ड स्टीरोड्स आर प्रिफर ट्रीटमेंट फॉर माइल्ड एजमा लो डोज इनहेल्ड स्टीरोड्स प्लस लॉन्ग एक्टिंग बेटर टू एगेस्ट आर द प्रिफर ट्रीटमेंट फॉर मॉडरेट एजमा सो ये मुख्तलिफ स्टडीज हैं ल्यूकोट्रीन मॉडिफायर्स विद इनहेल कॉटिको स्टीरोड्स जो है वो उनके ऊपर रिसर्च हुई है दे हैव शोन गुड रिजल्ट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ट्रीटमेंट इन अ मिनट सो इनहेल कॉटिकोस्टीरोड्स प्लस लॉन्ग एक्टिंग बेटा एग्नेस वो कहते हैं कि लंग फंक्शन सिम्टम्स का ज्यादा अच्छा होता है डिक्रीज एल्ब्यूट्रॉल यूज डिक्रीज एक्सेसरबेशन एंड रिड्यूस नीड टू इंक्रीज द इनहेल कॉटिकोस्टीरोड्स इनहेल वो होता है जो कि आप इनहेलर के जरिए देते हैं सो कंट्रोलर्स में जो है वो मेडिकेशन कब आप स्टीरोड एड करेंगे स्टीरोड इनहेलर जब उनको ग्रेटर दैन थ्री एपिसोड ऑफ वीजिंग इन लास्ट ईयर हुए पेरेंटल हिस्ट्री ऑफ एजमा है या फिजिशन नोट करता है कि इनको एलर्जिक राइनाइटिस है कोल्ड से वीजिंग हो रही है ब्लड के अंदर योसिनोफीलिया है तो फिर और कोर्स ऑफ स्टीरोड फाइव डे कोर्स जो है वो आप एवरी सिक्स वीक्स ले रहे हैं सो सिम्टम्स ग्रेटर दैन टू टाइम्स पर वीक and night time coughing greater than two times per month so do those are the things that tell us that okay let's start the patient on the uh, controlling medicine which is the uh, steroid so jo uh, step 1 treatment hai unko koi bhi daily treatment jo hai wo nahi chahiye hoti yani jo mild intermittent hai kabhi kabhi unko asthma problem hota hai जिनको डेली या वीकली सिम्टम्स हैं उनको आप लो डोज इनहेल कॉर्टिकोस्टीरोड्स लाइक फ्लो बैंड पर आप डाल सकते हैं जिससे उनका जो एजमा सिम्टम्स हैं वो कम हो जाएंगे जो मॉडरेट परसिस्टेंट हैं जिनको नाइट टाइम जो है सेवरल टाइम्स पर वीक हो रहा है उनको लॉन्ग लो डोज इनहेल कॉर्टिकोस्टीरोड लाइक फ्लो वैन प्लस लॉन्ग एक्टिंग बेटा एगनेस जो है इन कॉम्बिनेशन आप यूज कर सकते हैं हाई डोज इन जो सिवेयर हैं उनको डेली सिम्टम्स हो रहे हैं उनको आप ना सिर्फ हाई डोज स्टीरोड देंगे बल्कि आप उनको साथ लॉन्ग एक्टिंग बेटा एगनेस प्लस स्टीरोड इफ नीडेड सो दिस इज द यूजल यू नो फॉर्म ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रोटोकॉल विच इज यू नो बींग यूज तो जहां तक जो क्विकली एक्टिंग एज एज माई मेडिसन है उनमें एल्ब्यूट्रॉल है जो कि एक रेस्क्यू इनहेलर है प्रोवेंटल और वेंटोलिन के नाम से आता है मैक्स एयर लेव एल्ब्यूट्रॉल और जोपन मैक्स ट्रिब्यूटलिन मेटोप्रोटीरिनॉल ये सब की सब मेडिकेशन जो है वो एजमा की बेरा टू एगेस्ट में आते हैं और ये क्विक रिलीफ होता है आप टू पफ्स टू फोर पफ्स लेते हैं विद एन स्पेसर और फौरन आपके सिम्टम्स जो है वो विद इन मिनट्स जो है वो ठीक हो जाते हैं और जो सफोकेशन या दम घुटने की फीलिंग है वो डिक्रीज हो जाती है इट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट इट हैज टू बी यूज विद अ स्पेसर और स्पेसर विच इज मैस्क विद अ ट्यूब और जस्ट अ फ्लो मोर देन फाइव ईयर ओल्ड के साथ एक माउथ पीस के साथ करते हैं और पॉसिबल प्रॉब्लम्स हम 
kids can have jitteriness, anxiety, uh, and people who uh, feel that the ch child may be dependent on it, we have to educate them that dependence is not dependence. This is only rescue. Hai. Or anti-inflammatory, which is long-acting control medicines, in which inhaled corticosteroids, which is in which Flovent, in which long-acting beta agonist, Salmeterol, and Formeterol, which are also individual uh, agents, which are severe persistent or moderate persistent. Mein add karte hai. Sometimes they be in combination with inhaled corticosteroid like Advair, which uh, is Inhaled corticosteroids, which you can nebulizer, ke aap de sakte hai, albuterol, you can nebulizer. Ke de sakte hai. Inhaled corticosteroids, which are medicines, which are baclomethasone, uh, venceral, uh, QR, baclovent, budesonide, which are put in the machine, which are nebulizer, mein. Flu fluticasone, flovent. Uh, Advair, asthma cord, ये सब के सब inhaled corticosteroids हैं. Systemic के अंदर prednisone या prednisolone जो five day course देते हैं in acute asthma exacerbation, methyl prednisolone जो के injectable है वो भी हम दे सकते हैं. इसके अलावा rarely uh, mass cell stabilizer क्योंकि mast cell से histamine निकलता है जो के asthma की uh, bronchospasm यानि जो muscles की contraction को trigger करता है chromalin sodium intol के नाम से आता है nidochromal uh, tylate के नाम से आता है anticholinergic क्योंकि वो जो nerve fibers uh, respond करती हैं वो anticholinergic हैं जो के trigger होती हैं उनको block करने के लिए anticholinergic medicine use करेंगे ipratropium bromide जो atrovent के नाम से आता है Theophylline, immunophylline, methylxanthines के नाम से आते हैं जो के rarely use होते हैं Leukotriene inhibitors में जो के leukotriene भी asthma कुछ severity को बढ़ाते हैं chemical mediator हैं उसमें Montelukast, Zephyrlukast, uh, Acolate, Montelukast singular के नाम से आता है uh, Zalutan, Zyflo के नाम से आता है तो ये भी asthma की severity को prevent करते हैं तो most importantly आपने asthma को divide करना है कि ये mild inter intermittent है, mild persistent है, moderate persistent है, severe persistent है. Mild persistent occasional albuterol, uh, mild uh, sorry mild intermittent occasional albuterol rescue inhaler, mild persistent में अगर uh, है उसमें भी आप जो है low dose inhaled corticosteroids use कर सकते हैं to prevent uh, going into moderate persistent. Uh, in moderate persistent, you will need inhaled corticosteroid, which could be low dose, and long acting beta agonist. When you severe persistent, you uh, use high dose inhaled corticosteroid, which means inhaler ka high dose, use karna hai, long acting beta agonist, use karna hai, rescue, aapko jo hai, wo use karni padengi, uh, uh, systemic steroids, just like prednisone, prednisolone, or uh, pre uh, methyl prednisolone. So these are the various categories. Mild intermittent, uh, rare, uh, mild persistent, moderate persistent, and severe persistent. So, जो जो severity बढ़ती है, उसी तरह medication की strength और dose जो है वो change होता है. History taking prevention is a very important thing. Then come the medications, and then the patient education about the proper technique of using an inhaler with a spacer or uh, using the nebulizer with a mask. Uh, when you are using the nebulizer for medications. So, uh, uh, use of inhaler, use of nebulizer, peak flow meter if you have, that will be good. Um, how to get your medicines, making sure you carry a pack of medicine, a bag of medicines with you and uh, not to run out of the asthma medications. Ask parent or child to demonstrate the technique at each visit so you know that they attach this and then take puffs uh, through that uh, spacer, uh, wait for 10 seconds until all the medication is gone in. Uh, and then reassurance that this medicine is manageable and you can do it if uh, you are, uh, are following the treatment plan, the asthma action plan. Uh, over here in asthma action plan, green zone where you just need the uh, rescue medicine uh, or low dose uh, uh, or inhaled corticosteroid, 
uh, yellow zone when you are asthma is worsening you increase the dose of inhaled corticosteroid with your uh, albuterol or uh, rescue inhaler or jo red zone is severe asthma or hai aapka high dose karna hai apne inhaled corticosteroid yani flow band ka from uh, two puffs to four puffs twice a day jana hai saath albuterol every two to four hours lena hai systemic steroid ka ek dose leke prednisolone ka jo ke script aap apne patient ko denge aur phir aapne jana hai straight to er for further management uh, i hope that this uh, a uh, review of asthma medications and management was good for you please uh, don't take this illness lightly uh, make sure you are uh, following with your pediatrician with your regular doctor on asthma medicine you have uh, known the triggers of asthma you know what is the treatment of asthma you know what is the next step if your child's asthma is getting worse you need to get hold of your doctor go to the er follow the asthma action plan ask your pediatricians to uh, uh, give you an asthma action plan jisme green zone red zone sorry yellow sabse pehle green aayega fir yellow aayega aur fir red zone aayega aur aapke paas sufficient supplies of medicines ho jab bhi aap vacation pe jaye park mein jaye make sure ki aap asthma inhaler aur spacer apne bacche ka saath rakhein उम्मीद है कि आपको ये प्रेजेंटेशन से एजमा के अंदर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आगाही में इजाफा होगा प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल अगेन दिस इज डॉक्टर बाबर फ्रॉम अमेरिका एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल मे अल्लाह ब्लेस ऑल सल्ला वसाबी वसलम अलैक्म